back on Call of Duty, Black Ops 3, tonight, a part of the Gaming Weekly, Adrian the Voice at Game Side, and what a stacked card we have for you tonight, folks. Last night, we mentioned how Manager Minigun Killer 10 and Scorch would be here to talk about recent events, the recent events being how they've been so many threats against the channel. Let's take you back to what happened last week on Roblox, folks. The two gentlemen involved have threatened to shut us down, but during the broadcast, my former broadcast colleague, as you see, this matchup is underway. This is going to be blue team versus red team, ladies and gentlemen. This is Team Deathmatch. In fact, this is actually on the game Infection, which is pretty interesting. This is Safeguard. But nonetheless, the point I'm trying to make is the fact that my broadcast colleague, Rebel T Tom 87, left on air to go and quote the other side. Many fans were asking the question, why did he do this? Well, we're going to get some answers tonight with T. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Rebel. Tea time. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is T Time Thunder, and I'm here to announce that I declare a war toward TV. That is all. Well, so much for trying to get some answers. It looks like Rebel Tea Time has just left the party and. Apparently, T and his group have declared war against the channel. Well, folks, last night we spoke to Minigun Killer 10. Ladies and gentlemen, he is here. Remember, he announced that we're going to be on a Call of Duty Black Ops 2 this coming Monday, a part of the daily uploads. As you see now, there you see Khan right now is doing all he can. Cord, in fact, shot right there to the midsection. The opponent goes down from behind. There you see a knife right there to the midsection yet again. And again, you saw a glimpse of that robot walking around here. This is Safeguard on Infection, folks, on Call of Duty Black Ops 3. I cannot wait for Black Ops 2 on Monday for the daily uploads here, part of the Gaming Weekly. But nonetheless, here, part of the Gaming Weekly's broadcast. Please welcome Manager Minigun Killer 10. Minigun, welcome. Thank you, Adrian. The voice, I just want to say that I have an announcement from Scorch, apparently. He has a message that, I, that he has right now. I'm going to read it right now to you guys. Just so that... That he couldn't be here due to to him not getting his mic. However, we have discussed off camera that we will work together to go against the hacker group. So that so me and so the minigun versus scorch thing will be postponed in a later time. So that's what that's what scorch sent you. Yes, correct. Wow, you know I never thought this would happen. It looks like scorch and minigun they're on the same page. So it looks like. Well, I wouldn't actually consider the same page, but at least for this threat, Scorch and Minigun are going to be working together at this point in time to go against the threatening, the threats that those group, that group made last week on Sunday, and against some very special threats. You see Austin right now. Remember, Austin was the former number one contender to go against Striker. That match would actually, oh my, look at Austin going downhill. Nevertheless, though, the point I'm trying to make is the fact that Scorch and Minigun Killer 10 are going to be working together because of that group that threatened to shut down the channel. Very shocking, to be quite honest with you, but it looks like they're going to be on the same page, at least for now. The Minigun versus Scorch matchup has been postponed, and you can't really blame them for doing that, considering the fact that the channel is on red alert. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Call of Duty Black Ops 3 here. As you see now, a grenade has been thrown by November right now, up midair, the early one of this matchup, trying to strike down his opponent. Where is this robot, though? You saw a glimpse of the robot. Speaking of which, there's a robot. The robot is right in the middle of the map right now. It looks like that team is actually trying to avoid the other members to take down this robot here in time. A minute and 52 seconds and counting. The Black Ops versus CDP into this infection matchup. We saw Infection on Halo, but in this case, it's actually on Call of Duty Black Ops 3, the name of this map. You know, I do want to say, though, the CDP, they have a huge disadvantage considering the fact that Austin FWM and November Madman, it's a two against four situation here tonight. Minigun actually involved into this matchup. Manager Minigun Killer Tim has stated before that Call of Duty Black Ops 2 will be making its debut on Monday, folks. So if, I can't wait for that. I mean, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, daily upload starting a part of the Gaming Weekly next week. Moments ago, we mm -hmm. heard T, though, the breaking news. Minigun is the fact that T has officially declared a war. There is an official war, hence the reason why you and Scorch are actually working together at this point in time. And you really have to understand that a lot of pressure is on your side, Minigun, because the other side, they seem mm -hmm. very confident. Right. In fact, they have a plan to try to take this down, as you see now. Cord right now, duking and dodging at this point in time. There's a shot to the abdominal area. That team is working along. And look at Gunshi Juggler right now. Well, coming up next, folks, I cannot wait for this one. 
It's going to be pretty interesting. It's going to be a sniper matchup, a quick scope type style here tonight on Call of Duty Black Ops. Dude, it looks like the Black Ops were able to win right then and there. Congratulations to Black Ops. They won right then and there with one point. Take a look at the ending kill cam. There's a shot right there. It looks like there you see the robot. And at that point in time, they were going against the opponent and feel the impact. What a great way to end the round here tonight. Well, ladies and gentlemen, remember last week. Last week, BandGeek, which is pretty interesting, BandGeek wanted to host an online dating game session. She said that she's better than her sister TK. Let's take you back to what happened two weeks ago. an online dating session, um, sort of like a game show next week. And, uh, well, last week we got a chance to speak to contestant one and two. Well, tonight, here are contestant three and four. Let's go ahead and kick it off with contestant three. You're going to love this one. Well, the Xbox, Xbox pimp. Welcome. Hello. I'm the real pimp here. Welcome, pimp. How are you considered a pimp? Welcome to you, too. Why do we call you the pimp for the rest? You said what? Because... Because you could say I'm a... I'm a ladies lover. Oh, that's why you're here, by the way. You actually signed up for this. Well, you know, I have a... I have a well, I, I mean, I, I want to say that Band Geek, she actually wanted to get to know you. Uh, and she wanted me to ask you, though. I mean, what would you do to make her happy if you actually did get a chance to date her? I don't know. You actually don't know? I really don't know. <laughs> so you signed up and... <laughs> You're the Xbox pimp. There's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a bunch of things <laughs> I can do to make a girl happy. Okay, well, name one of them. I like oh, no, showing her love. Okay, how? Creating a map for her? Maybe maybe you can actually pimp her way, I don't know, through a map or something. Robot in range. Clear away. Good job. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there you see the CDP. <laughs> CDP winning right there. there. That was, there you see the ending kill cam as we are joined by the Xbox pimp who said that she's, well, he's a ladies lover that he actually signed up because of this. As you see from behind, congratulations to this man who got taken down though. Well, congratulations here on overtime switching sides, folks. Black Ops versus CDP. This is the infection map. For the first time ever here, part of Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Black Ops 2 will happen on Monday, but we're back to the Xbox pimp. And Xbox, I gotta ask you, um, at least Xbox pimp. Just, I don't yeah. know. Bandkeek wants to get to know you. Tell us about yourself. You're the cure well. for insomnia. You really are. Thanks, you, <laughs> thanks for capping all night. I'm a very funny person. Okay, so you're funny. I never you got take anything. Funny. Got I never take anything serious. Okay. I'm always laugh at anything. Um, I'm tall. I have dreads. Sorry, I, I was falling asleep on you. What were you saying? You know what? I'm done. It's over. You go, just go ahead and continue on with the video. I have well, to slap you. <laughs> Thanks, a, Thanks a lot, Xbox Pimp. Thanks a lot, well, Xbox Pimp. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, that was contestant three, I guess. And Band Geek, if she's watching, I have no idea if she really is going to choose contestant three. But nonetheless, this matchup is underway. We're going to get set for contestant four coming up next, though. As this matchup is underway, as you see November Man now throwing a grenade and it's going to continue the assault against the opposing team. Goes the other one right now. Gets shot, though, and looks like out of nowhere. Continues this assault, ladies and gentlemen. Again, there you see Ocross right now. He's in trouble at this point in time. Respawns right there. Cordell was able to take down Ocross. 
And again, every single person for themselves, at least for their own team. As you see, there's a robot right now. Again, the robot has to try to go to the other side of the map. This team, though, the team that Okraz is on, he has to try to avoid the other team to win here tonight. Shot right there to the midsection. Then again, Killer 10 goes down as well as Juggler here tonight, a part of the Black Ops 3 game night. Black Ops 2, again, has been announced for Monday, but let's take you back to what happened earlier in this broadcast. The fact is, Men again, Killer 10 announced that apparently Scorch and Minigun are going to be working together. Minigun, if you're still with us, I have a question for you. What's that? <clears throat> well, you and Scorch are going to be working together, but have you guys ever yes. discussed the whole situation itself? Or have you guys discussed what you guys are going to do to defeat these gentlemen, I guess? Well, well, not really during this time of being or like before we actually started this broadcast. However, maybe after the broadcast or probably sometime, maybe tomorrow or something like that, as, as I would say. We would probably figure out what we can do about this type of group that are trying to ha threaten us and hack us. Right. Say. It's a developing story as we speak. Remember, Manager Scorch was supposed to make it here tonight. As you see, it looks like November Madman is trying to take down this robot. In fact, he's affecting it right now. The robot is rebooting as we speak. He's down and out, and it looks like the other team, they're nowhere to be found. November Madman has a chance to take down this robot there. There you see the robot is currently rebooting. This is not good for the opposing team. But Minigun, you stated that, that perhaps maybe tomorrow you and Scorch are going to be talking about this whole uh, this whole issue that the other people are threatening to shut down the channel. This is a developing story as Black Ops did win this matchup. Congratulations. Mission accomplished for Black Ops with 3 minutes and 15 seconds. Look at the kill cam. This gentleman involved, he was up there, right there, aiming at the other one that was Noob2017 who went down. There you see the bullets going through the midsection, the opponent falling through. Three minutes and 15 seconds of time to meet here tonight. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for tonight. Minigun, we're getting set for the next game. Okay, got it. Okay, got it. Okay, so we're going to go. A free-for-all quick scope free matchup here tonight on Nuketown. Aiden the voice alongside with manager Minigun Killer 10 here at GameSide. And ladies and gentlemen, at the top of the broadcast, we heard T and he said it. He said that he's declaring war against the channel. Then we spoke to Minigun and he stated that him and Scorch are actually going to be working together. They're going to be on the same page for this point in time. And again, ladies and gentlemen, at this point in time, the channel is on red alert. There have been so many threats happening for the past couple of days. I should say the threats being made for the past couple of days. I see, see Minigun Killer 10 out early going to this matchup. Let's take you back to a couple of weeks ago, though. This is the same map in which the, well, Japanese clan lost to manager Minigun Killer 10's team. Well, ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. we're getting set for contestant four here tonight. There you see Minigun who continues the assault, ladies and gentlemen. This is Nuketown again. It's every single person for themselves. It's going to be quite the challenge considering the fact that every single person has the sniper rifle. As you see now, Minigun throws the grenade. It looks like a Duke and Dodge right now. Show, shot right there to the midsection. We continue to actually broadcast Call of Duty Black Ops 3. And so many of the fans love this game. But I cannot wait for Black Ops 2, which was announced last week that it's compatible on Xbox One. That's pretty interesting. So many of the great Xbox fans have been playing Call of Duty Black Ops 2. 24-7. They've been playing it all day. And I can't blame them. What a great game Call of Duty Black Ops 2 is. Cannot wait to see Call of Duty Black Ops 2. So many of the maps, of course. But you can only see Nuketown here on Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Well, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome contestant 4. Which is Minigun Killer 10. Hello. <laughs> Hello. This is actually quite a shock. Because yeah, it is. you're yeah. contested for, and you're actually going to go after Band Geek. Remember, Band Geek, who wants to go out with someone claiming that she's better than her sister, TK. Well, she has a lot of choosing to do. Let's mm. take it back to last week, though. Remember, contestant one was Isaac the Pervert. Contestant two was the Annoying Squeaker. Contestant three being the Xbox Pimp. And contestant four, Minigun Killer 10. You know... I wouldn't. I can actually see her choosing you. You are the manager of the gaming weekly. Maybe she's actually trying to take the easy way out. Maybe she just wants to choose you. Oh boy, yeah. Well, nonetheless, here's my oh, first no. question. Well, Bandcake wants to get mm. to know you. So, what do you want to tell about yourself? Well, I'm a gamer. I like to play lots of different games. I like to play Halo and Call of Duty. Um, I. Later told myself about my age in the comment section. I am 17 years old. I still go to high school today. I live in Washington and I'm 
I like to be a respectful and helpful, helpful person. Well, that's a lot of information that Band Geek is going to gather, of course. Another question for you. If you would, well, if you were with Band Geek, what would be one thing you want to do to make her happy? Um, well, I would give her flowers and give her a chocolate bar. Or to how, if it's online or not. Oh, how? Oh, how? then... I don't know. Uh, let's Maybe you can say, meet up with her on Halo. For her or something. Maybe you can say that, that you're, no, you're gonna... for her. <laughs> like a... Love map. Love map or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> map of oh, look who's back! Xbox, the Xbox pimp is back. Xbox pimp, welcome back. From the broadcast. <laughs> what are you laughing at? You didn't have anything to say last time I interviewed you. Hello. Silent. Hello. Well, okay. You want to share more stuff? <laughs> well, this is family friendly, though. I can't believe that there's an Xbox pimp in the party. Nevertheless, though, there you see Chimp right now is aiming through. It looks like he's going to try to snipe down the opponent. Well, the opponent, oh, going out of the way. As you see, the, the, you see these players, though, continuing the assault there. And look at Chimp outside of the window. He got shot down. Well, tonight here tonight, folks, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Cannot wait for Call of Duty Black Ops 2 on Monday night, though. Minigun actually announcing that last night. And contestant 3 and 4, though, for Band Geek. I do want to preface this by saying that next week, Band Geek apparently will be here to choose which contestant she's going to go out with. So that's going to be pretty interesting. Contestant 1, 2, 3, or 4. One of the contestants will be her newest boyfriend here on Xbox. Online dating. Online dating. I repeat, online dating. Right. <laughs> Nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, this is... I believe this is Shark right now. He's actually rolling. Look at this. Shark is actually doing the Duke and Dodge. Going right behind, up midair. It looks like he's trying to do the 360 no-scope, though. But Shark gets taken down. Minigun as well. Austin, of course, who was the no number one contender to face Striker. I mentioned it earlier in this broadcast. Remember, that matchup got canceled because it looks like the Season 2 era... Looks like every single champion has been stripped. There's only going to be two champions. Remember that, folks. There's going to be two. It's going to be the team champions and the free-for-all champion. As you see, Threat right now gets taken down as well by Cord. Every single person doing a phenomenal job, ladies and gentlemen. But again, looks like Minigun Killer 10 is actually doing a great job here tonight. Contestant 4, of course. Band Geek has to choose which online date she wants to, uh, she wants to go to. As you see... Man, Minigun, I have another question for you. <laughs> What's that? How would you react if Band Geek doesn't even choose you? I, I wouldn't honestly really mind, honestly, but eh, it would be kind of a disappointment. But eh, it's fine. You're, you're I hoping to create that a, sometimes. Yeah, but you're hoping to create a relationship out of this, aren't you? Yes, correct. Yes. And you see Gino right now, though, continues the assault. Turns around, there's the opponent, though. They're right under the skull. Did you see the way the bullet right... Looks like the bullet straight into the skull. New right now, shot right there to the midsection. Continues the assault, gets shot down here. This is Call of Duty Black Ops 3 quick scope here. Every single person with a sniper rifle running around, throws a grenade, looks like to no avail right now. Lands on his feet, continues the assault. Shark right now from behind, though, gets taken down by Austin at the end, the former number one contender. One's got to wonder if Austin is actually going to become the next number one contender for this channel. And it looks like every single person is standing still, which means that, yes, the final kill cam. Congratulations to New 2017, who got the final kill cam. Feel us at home, folks. Shot right there to the abdominal area, not to the midsection, although the midsection, it really is the abdominal area. Nonetheless, congratulations to New 2017. First place here tonight. Second with, well, oh, cross and third being Austin FWM. Congratulations to all the players, folks. Want to thank everyone for joining us here tonight, a part of the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 game night. Remember, this coming Monday, a part of the daily uploads, it's going to be Call of Duty Black Ops 2, which is going to be pretty interesting. Minigun, you're going to be there. You're going to be hosting the games. It's going to be a lot of fun, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's going to be very fun. Oh, it's going to be very fun. Definitely. Well, take a look at the conclusion. Nuketown offline. And we're about to go offline, folks. But before we do, well, tomorrow night, it is going to be an Easter special, ladies and gentlemen. According to management, they're going to be hosting the 1v1 between Sober Swine and Chunk Dinky for the Tumble Championship. Cannot wait for that one. Also, next week, though, next Saturday here, a part of the Gaming Weekly, Apparently, Band Geek will be here to choose her contestant. Is it going to be one, being Isaac the Pervert, two, the Annoying Squeaker, three, Xbox the Pimp, and four, Minigun Killer 10, which was quite a shock to me.
And also, folks, what's going to happen? The main story that everyone's talking about. We are on red alert. Is this channel really going to shut down? These group, This group of people, they want to shut us down. Will it happen? We'll see you next time. And what's going to happen next?